and thank you boys and girls wow you know it's almost christmas and i'm so excited to be with you to share with you 12 bedtime stories with you before christmas i am miss nesbitt here sharing with you wonderful bedtime stories with you you going to enjoy three nights of bedtime stories, 12 nights of bedtime stories with me, Miss Nesbitt. The first story tonight will be The Snow Angel by Christina Leeson and Jan Chapman, published by Little Tigers. You also can Listen to this story on TC Academy Podcast, which will be list, listed in the description below. <laughs> so I hope that not only at bedtime you can listen and see this, but maybe as you travel and during the holidays. So sit back and relax and get ready to enjoy a wonderful bedtime story with me, with Miss Nesbitt. Get ready, let's begin. All right, so we are going to settle in our beds or on our chair with maybe some hot cocoa, warm milk, or maybe just with our favorite stuffed animal or mom and dad or our siblings or maybe that perfect someone that be with us every evening. Let's get ready to, ready to hear the story of the snow angel. I am so excited to be with you. I am Miss Nesbitt, owner and founder of TC Academy. We are going to be reading for 12 nights, 12 bedtime stories before Christmas. Tonight, we're going to be reading our first story, The Snow Angel. Get ready and let's begin. This story, The Snow Angel, mm -hmm. is by Christina Leeson and Jan Chapman, published by Little Tiger. Let's read the the end cap in the back, so we can find out what the story is all about. Two little mice are playing in the snow. One Christmas morning, when they see an angel soaring through the sky with sunshine gleaming on its wings. It is breathtaking and magical. But as they watch, the angel swoops, flutters, and tumbles to the ground. Is there anything the mice can do to help the lost and lonely angel? Before it is too late. Let's begin. Oh, look at that. Beautiful scenery. All the snow. Have you gotten snow in your area yet? We haven't. And maybe you have. It was a bright, crisp morning when a swirl of wind woke Daisy. Mom! Sam! Wake up! She squealed excitedly. It's Christmas! 
bus and it's snowing. Yippee! Cheered Daisy, big brother Sam, dancing around the nest. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, little one, said mom, giving them each a gift. Oh, Daisy squealed. Berries! Berries! And nuts, said Sam. Thanks, mom. Thank you. Saving their presents for later, the mice rushed out to play in the snow. Have fun, mom called. I'll find some extra bedding to make our nest cozy. And then we all will have a special Christmas dinner. Giggling, Daisy and Sam slid and slide up the hill. Below, sparkling a blanket of snow. But Daisy and Sam hardly noticed. High above was the most beautiful thing they ever seen. Sunshine gleamed on their wings as it swore through soared through the sky. Sam, look, whispered Daisy. It's an angel, a Christmas angel. But as the mice watched breathlessly, the angel began to flutter and fall. Oh no, cried Daisy rushing forward as it tumbled to the ground. Quick, quick, Sam gasped. They whiskered, trembling. The mice tiptoed over the snow. The angel was lying silent and still. Its feathers shone like ice. Its golden beak buried between them. Oh, Sam, Daisy cried. Isn't it wonderful? I don't think it looks very well, Sam replied. Then the snow angel spoke. Little mice, can you help me? It said, my friends and I have flown for days from a land of ice and stars. But last night, I lost them in a storm. Now I'm tired and hungry, and I don't know if I will even see them again. Oh dear, we need to find food, said Daisy, but everything is frozen. Not everything, said Sam. Come on, and the mice raced back across the meadow. The snow was much deeper than the mice returned, carrying their precious gift of berries and nuts. They placed them in front of the angel and watched as slowly it began to eat. Daisy brushed snowflakes from the angel's wings as it lie, it head down to sleep. Don't you think it will be all right? She asked. I hope so, whispered Sam. They watched by the angel's side until at last the snow stopped falling. Sunset streaked the sky. Then the angel opened his eyes. With a sudden rush to the feathers, it spread its wings. Thank you, little mice, it said. You have been very kind. I will never forget your help. The mice gasped as the angel shone gold in every light. Swore up, up over their head. 
Merry Christmas, it called. Wow, whispered Sam. Daisy held up her paw. Look, she cried. It's snowing again. The white fl flakes swirled around them. But as Sam reached out and caught one, he laughed <laughs> in surprise. Feathers! It's feathers, he shouted. The mice gathered armfuls of soft white feathers and raced back home. Mom called. Mom! Mom! called Daisy. We found an angel. It was... It gave us a present. Mom looked up from the straw she's been using to line the nest. Goose feathers? You have goose feathers? She exclaimed. We'll feel as if we are sleeping on clouds. Over Christmas dinner, Daisy and Sam told mom all about the snow angel. They happy and tired. The family snuggled up in a warm bed of feathers. That was the best Christmas ever, Daisy whispered to Sam. We did see a real angel, didn't we? I'm sure we did, said Sam. And as he drifted off to sleep, he saw the feathers shiny in the darkness, as bright as stars in a winter frozen sky. The end. You have just heard the story of The Snow Angel by Christine Leeson and Jane Chapman, published by Little Tiger. Hey, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our first 12 bedtime, the first of our 12 bedtime stories before Christmas. I hope you enjoy this story. It is a wonderful story of meeting new friendship, being kind, and being loving to others. This time of season, we need to show much love and much kindness to others, like all year round. But don't forget that, that you can find angels in un- particular places. Well, this is Miss Nesbitt with Storytime with Miss Nesbitt. Have a wonderful night. Sleep tight and allow God blessings fall upon you in Jesus' name. Bye now. Good night. Sleep tight. Until next time.